Oh, Gestalt is a process whereby we separate out parts. And we usually do that because the parts are already separate. Part of us wants to do this, another part of us wants to do that. So what we do with Gestalt is we quite often put people in different chairs when they're already split. So we put one person in the chair saying, when you're in the chair, that's you, the complete whole part of you. And in this other chair opposite you is the part of you that has the problem. And you're just going to have a conversation with yourself. All the therapist needs to do then is orchestrate when they think it's the right time to sit in the chair of the problem and then back in the chair of them being their whole self. And their whole self can ask the problem part various questions. And the problem part only answers from the problem part perspective. Usually ends in some sort of resolution where instead of beating ourselves up, the whole self really understands the perspective of the problem part. Now this can be done as an intervention within the trance experience, but quite often what I've done is I've just used it as a precursor to the whole induction and therapeutic intervention thing to make the person clear about the issue that they're dealing with. So this often works really well for people that don't want to be hypnotized. Um, and you can just do it in normal conversation. As soon as the person brings up the problem part, say, okay, go and sit in that chair. When you sit in that chair, you can only talk from the perspective of the problem. And as soon as they start to reason things out, put them back in the other chair when they're their whole self. So yes, you can do it with chairs, you can do it with hands, separating the parts out that are already separated, and you can do it within the trance experience itself by touching them on the forehead and says, when I touch you on the forehead, you will be the problem part. And now you are back to being the whole self. So I hope that answers your question and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you for asking. Um, let's put my eyes in the chair because I have this little sister that won't go away. Okay. Is that that kind of idea you're thinking of? Yeah. Okay. So you can gestalt yourself. Okay. Because we don't want you moving from chair to chair at the moment because we've got you in view. But let's just say you can program yourself that when you touch yourself on the forehead, Mm -hmm. You agree now to speak only, don't do it yet, only from the viewpoint of the cyst. So we've got a separation. Most of hypnotherapy interventions are parts therapy. Whether we separate them into chairs, whether we touch people on the head, or whether we do the segmentation with the um, stepping stones, we're, we're separating out aspects of the person. And the cyst is part of you at this moment in time. So you are present, you have consciousness within every single cell of your body. And you are going to, in a moment, talk specifically from that part. As if you're going to really focus on the consciousness of the cells within that part of the body. Because you are curious as to its presence for what reason it's there in fact what would you like to ask it right now how i can help it go away <laughs> okay. so you're going to say how can i help you go away in your own voice tone say it again and when you've finished your question and you're ready for the answer then touch yourself on the forehead and be the cyst, okay? Okay. So how can I help you go away? Well, I heard what, nurturing. What would you like to say to Teresa?
you Listen are the me. thing. In your cyst-like voice, she doesn't really understand you. Teresa doesn't really understand you, wants to understand you, but primarily she wants you to go away. What would you want to say to her? She just wants you to go. What do you want to say to her in your cyst voice? I want to stay. <laughs> it's persistent. <laughs> now tap yourself. Be very aware of this, Teresa. The next time you tap yourself on the forehead, you'll be back to being the entire Teresa. Okay. So now I'm Teresa. Okay. And I need you to clear and disperse. I thank you for whatever you came here to teach. <laughs> and it's time for you to go on your way. Okay, so you said your piece. Now the next time you touch yourself on the forehead, you will be the cyst again. Now really, just take a moment to be the cyst, to be the cells there, to recognize your purpose, to recognize how Teresa feels about you, what she wants you to do. She says she needs you to go, to clear. She needs you to go. She thanks you for your presence. What do you want to say to her? I just get I'm not ready to leave. Okay. Put yourself back on the forehead again. So. Teresa. Okay. Sissy isn't ready to leave. Little Sissy. <laughs> Not ready to leave? No. I'm so crazy. Okay. <laughs> Little sister is here to stay. Um, you want to stay to little sister? Hmm? Okay. Can you be smaller? <laughs> <laughs> Touch yourself on the forehead. Back to uh, the sister. Hello, sister. So, I, the purpose is uh, to focus on what I can see. My focus is, because I am sister. My yes. focus is to remind you about what you're seeing. Mm. Touch yourself back on the head. Oh, Teresa, what do you think about that then? What little? I think that's brilliant. I honor that and you can leave and I'll remember. <laughs> Touch yourself on the head again. Hey, little sister, what do you think of <laughs> No, Teresa? you won't. <laughs> what do you think of Teresa? What do you really think of Teresa saying what she just said to you? Right. So, no, I won't. I'm not ready. Um, yeah, there's a piece also about putting myself first. Reminding me to put myself first. So I'm reminding Teresa. I'm to reminding Teresa first. to put herself first. It's connected with what she sees, did you say? Yeah. What she sees and putting herself first. You're there to remind her to put herself first? Yeah. yeah. Anything else you'd like to say to Teresa? Because if you don't, it's obvious. Touch yourself back on the forehead, back to be Teresa, 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 Teresa. How interesting. What did you think about what little sister said? No, there's a lesson to be learned first. What do you think specifically about what little sister said about putting yourself first and stop generalizing? Come on. I think that I need to create regular routines every day to keep myself uh, as a priority. And then I will feel uh, more whole, actually, the word. The okay, put thing. yourself on the head. Little sister, hello. Now you've just heard what Teresa said. What do you reckon? Search for authenticity. I reckon that if you follow that for a month, 
you will notice I disappear. Sounds like a deal to me. Touch yourself on the forehead. It's no, deal. I know you want, I know you want to shortcut this, like lots of things in life. I know you just want it to go away. Go away. I do. <laughs> what do you think of this negotiation that's taking place? This part. I, I appreciate the reminder. I understand the purpose, so I can't ignore you. And I will commit to steps as of this moment to make that a priority. Touch yourself on the phone. <laughs> hey, little sister, I know the intelligence of the whole is inherent in every single cell of the body. You are a living hologram. So, little sister, you know everything that Teresa knows. You know about voice tone, attitude, facial expression. You know all about that. What do you think of what Teresa just said to you? I think I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Touch yourself on the head. Hello, Teresa. Okay. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. I, sh I shall continue. Mm -hmm. We'll have this conversation again in a month. Well, we want to come to some real deal here. Some real negotiation. Excuse me. Some real honest communication between you and little sister so what deal would you like to make in all, in all honesty this is part of you this is your body these are your cells you've heard the messages that little sister has given you and you have replied in a particular way yes of course if you are not happy with the deal this is your time to negotiate if you are happy, fine. Roll over. No, I'm happy with the deal. Happy with the deal. Okay, right. Slap yourself on the head. <laughs> hey, little sister. There's a deal on the table. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm happy with the deal. Okay, so the deal is, let's get it clear. What are you asking of Teresa specifically? In time frame, stated in the positive? That every day she spends 10 minutes. I think it's like relaxing, putting something on my eyes, going within. Well, you are little sister, so there's no thinking about it. You know. What do you want to tell Teresa? That well, she you needs... want to do it, exper it can be an experiment, of course. You right. know why you're there. You are little sister. You know why right. you're there. And you know what's caused your presence. And you have a purpose. So what right. is it that you want to experiment with? with Something that soothes. Ah. Soothes my sight. Mm. So this is about the feeling of being soothed? Yeah. Okay. Touch yourself on the forehead. Back to being Teresa. Keep your eyes closed for a moment and just go inside and think about that idea of soothing. Soothing that very particular part of you. So we're getting specific now. We're getting specific about soothing and soothing a very particular part of you that happens to be related to eyesight in the eye area. You know what it feels like when that part is not soothed. So now think about what it feels like to be soothed and what it might 
what you might offer that part in terms of soothing as an experiment and what it is that you might do and if you think about what it is that you might do specifically to soothe that part then you can offer a solution to little sisty and we'll see what little sisty says okay. i see myself with cucumbers on my eyes listening to music uh -huh. so touch yourself on the head so little sister, you know what just been offered by Teresa as an experiment, as a first step, a first true step in negotiation. What do you think? What do you want to say back? I think that's, that'll do, that'll start. Okay, right. So, put yourself on the forehead. I think we'll get into some sort of real, real deal here. This isn't really about time frames. So many minutes here, so many minutes there, and blah 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 blah. That's all very very conscious. So there is an opportunity here for experimentation. If things get better, great. We're going in the right direction. If things don't get better, maybe we need to revisit the deal. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, good. Now can you kind of figuratively shake hands, give yourself a hug to you and little sister? Are you friends? Friends <laughs> there? You made up? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's an acceptance. Yeah. Okay. Everything for a reason. Lovely. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Is yeah, it? you feel kind of crazy when you do that, eh? <laughs> yeah. And I, I am crazy, so that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Nick, did you say something? She said, you kind of feel crazy when you do that. And I said, I don't, I don't feel crazy when you do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it all tends to follow the same pattern. That to begin with, it's kind of, well, this is weird, no matter what our belief system is, so however open we are. Well, this is, and then the kind of, oh, okay then, <laughs> with the attitude, with the Tina, not just you, everybody that does it, everybody. Yeah. Oh, I have to, okay. Tina, <laughs> thanks. Mm. And then this magical thing happens when that part of the body or that dead person or somebody's cat or um, their back pain or whatever, really recognises, truly recognises, I'm being listened to and I do have an opportunity here to interact. Because quite often, I mean, you are very gracious about your body part, but many people are not. And we could be talking years that they've fallen out with a certain part of their body. And they even hit it sometimes and say, oh, this stupid sounds like. Mm -hmm. And so it's remarkable what happens when they make up. Because, you know, if we're talking about body parts, it's your body. You know, what controls this body? What? Yeah, it is you, you know. But when we've fallen out with a part, all kinds of stuff happens. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we fall out with a part and that's why on a spiritual level we'll say you know we need to love that part and thank it for being there whatever so this is a um an nlp ish way <laughs> of getting to the point that you want people to get to with your practice mm -hmm. could it encompass more people or break it into an online course etc you listening nick you can have a strategic plan <laughs> that this part of you or this thing that we've fallen out with because all of all therapy is about parts falling out with one another integrating the whole yeah your cells are listening is a book i read um i actually part read i didn't get too far into it to be honest but the whole idea of it i loved yes 